What we're going to do right now is we are going to take some zinc, which is symbolized by Zn, plus some hydrochloric acid, which is pretty strong stuff. You got to be really careful with hydrochloric acid. And that's why we're not going to try this at home. There will be a chemical reaction, which is what's called a single replacement reaction. The zinc is going to split apart this molecule and it's going to combine with the chloride. So we're going to get a zinc chloride. Plus, what do you think the, the other part the, the other part hydrogen of the product gas. will be? Hydrogen. hydrogen. Hydrogen gas. All right. Now, we've got two chlorines and two hydrogens. So what do we have to do over here? Two. Anybody have a solution for this? What do you think? Put a two on the ACL. Put a big two there. So now we have two hydrogens and two chlorines. This is a very exothermic reaction. So there will be heat, right? Heat. Right. So the nice thing about burning hydrogen is it only creates water vapor, and that is why um, hydrogen fuel cells are such an interesting sort of possibility for energy, because we don't have the CO2, we just get the water vapor. It's a pretty clean source of energy. Okay. So when we generate hydrogen gas and use strong acids, we always have to wear our gloves, and of course, I've got my goggles on. And what I'm going to do is simply take a flask and put some zinc powder in it. Zinc is a metal. Here, here are some pieces of zinc metal. So you can see it's a nice shiny metal. But I also have some powdered zinc that I put in this jar here. It's a duller color. I'm going to go mostly with the powdered zinc because it gets the reaction going nice and fast. to pour some hydrochloric acid in here. It's going to let off a little bit of vapor and I'm going to quickly try to get this balloon on there to capture the hydrogen gas. And there we go. Hydrogen gas is being produced. If you see this, this is a very exothermic reaction. This beaker, this flask is getting very hot and you can see how violently it's bubbling in there with the hydrochloric acid and the zinc reacting. A lot of hydrogen gas is getting produced and a lot of heat. Hydrogen is the lightest element, it's lighter than air. And so this balloon here clearly is filled with a very light gas, a balloon here of hydrogen gas. Of hydrogen gas. So using my, again, my handy dandy lighter extender of science here that I've made out of a meter stick, I'm going to light this. That's, that's all the lights are. And are we ready? Countdown. Three, two, one. 